to give us uh, tonight. Amen. So I'm going to turn it over to him. Tonight I'm going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. It's very important. Um, we can be set free uh, by growing in the fruit of the Spirit. We can grow in confidence towards our relationship with the, with the Lord as we grow in the fruit of the Spirit. And uh, the third point I'll make tonight, and I'll come back to these three points later, is that uh, the fruit of the Spirit helps us, enables us to overcome all negativity. Mm. And that, that's, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, what is the fruit of the Spirit? So let me, let me start there. What is the fruit of the Spirit? Well, obviously, we're going to look at a list of things that are the fruit of the Spirit. But it's something that comes from the Holy Spirit by encountering the Holy Spirit. It's what he gives to us. Mm -hmm. But where did it come from to initially? Well, it obviously comes from God himself because it's the nature of God. This is the nature of God. And God wants us uh, to be transformed into his nature. Hallelujah. So we are just like Christ. We're transformed into the image, image of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Now, it's easy to say, oh, uh, we're being transformed. And when we can say hallelujah and amen, we're being transformed. But I'm going to talk tonight about a process of transformation. And it's easy to, to just simply say uh, that we're being transformed and not do anything about it. But what I want you to see tonight is that we have a responsibility mm -hmm. <laughs> to be transformed into the nature of the Lord Jesus Christ. And his nature is what we see in his fruit. Uh, and his fruit then is going to set us free. It's going to build our confidence in our relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it's going to overcome all negativity. <clears throat> uh, so I'm I'm going to just start and look at some uh, listings of uh, the fruit. And this is in uh, Galatians uh, chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. And I'm going to have Sherry read out of two different versions here uh, because some of the words are different in different, in different versions. But basically in the King James, we'll see it begins with love, joy, and peace. These are, Amen. these are the fruit, but there's, uh, there's nine of them in these listings, but what I'll we'll look at just a moment later is that it's much greater than just nine fruit. Uh, this, this is just the beginning, uh, but all of the fruit work works the same. So I'm going to ask Sherry to read these two verses. Okay, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Okay. And then out of the New American Standard, it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience. Okay, so there we see two different words, patience and long-suffering. Right. Okay, next. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Faithfulness here, and it was faith in mm -hmm. the, the King James. Faith, faithfulness. Well, when we're full of faith, that's that is faithfulness. Right. Okay. We're being gentleness. Faithful. Okay. Self control. Against such there is no law. So here it's self control, and the other it was temperance. And, and and so what I want you to see from this is that there are a lot of different fruit. Okay. So why should the fruit be important to us? Because we are being transformed. Transformed. And so how are we being transformed into the image of Jesus Christ? But it's the into the nature of God. It's changing our nature so that our nature is like God's nature. And that doesn't happen automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you a lot of people just want to sit there and let the apples the cherries fall off the tree and hit them on the head and, the, and the, so they can eat it. Mm -hmm. But but the fruit doesn't just fall off of the tree. Uh, you have to uh, pursue it. Yeah, and cultivate and, it. And, and 
it, it's something we have a responsibility. Now, the reason I bring this up in the first message of the new year is that I believe we can all change our nation nature to be more like God himself. And that's our responsibility. And it begins, and we'll just focus on these nine uh, fruit, but I want you to see, Sherry has another verse, that there's a, there are other kinds of fruit. So it's not limited to these nine fruit. But so what I'm going to be talking about tonight, we'll focus on the nine fruit, but it's not limited to that. So I have another verse. Uh, Hebrews, Hebrews. Hebrews 12, 11. For the moment, all discipline seems not to be pleasant. <laughs> but painful. Yet to those who have been trained by it, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Okay, so here is another fruit that the Bible lists. The Bible lists many fruits, uh, mm -hmm. including the truth. Uh, in one verse, I believe it's Ephesians 5, 9, says that the truth is a fruit, Ooh, and, uh, and uh, goodness is a fruit, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the righteousness yes is a fruit yeah. and so <coughs> we're not limited to the nine <clears throat> so i want you to understand that okay so let's go to another thought then and that is jesus himself said seek first the kingdom that's uh matthew 11 30 uh, uh 633 mm -hmm. seek first the kingdom uh and his righteousness and all, everything you need will be added to you when you seek the kingdom. But well, what is the kingdom? Well, Romans mm -hmm. chapter 14, 17 says it's righteousness, righteousness peace, and, and joy, joy in the Holy Spirit. So it's the fruit. So we could say, seek first the fruit. Mm, hallelujah. So that says, oh, I've got a responsibility. So if I want my needs met, if I if I want God to provide for me what he has promised, then I have a responsibility to seek first his kingdom and his fruit and the fruit of his kingdom. And it says uh, in Matthew that if people do not have the fruit, if they're not producing the fruit of the kingdom, the kingdom's going to be taken away from them. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't want to lose the kingdom. Huh. The kingdom is very important. And so we have a responsibility. It's our responsibility to seek the fruit. Our responsibility. We can't just assume that the fruit is going to come upon us. We are instructed to produce to, the fruit. To produce the fruit. Seek first the kingdom, mm -hmm. but the kingdom is righteousness, peace, and joy. And all three of those are fruit. Uh, so, Hallelujah. okay, now why, why is the fruit important? It's the nature of God. We are being transformed into the nature of God. But it, we are not automatically transformed. We need to seek the fruit and it's any one of those fruit, then that will make our nature more like God's nature. Hallelujah. And we're told to do that. So seek it. So it's our responsibility. And a lot of people, uh, you know, they want to go to the church services, mm -hmm. but they're not focusing on the uh, fruit and how to increase in the uh, fruit. And that's the nature we need to be more like more like God at the end of this year than we are at the beginning. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. The way to become more like God in 2023 is to produce fruit in your life. Mm, hallelujah. Now that's really important because it will overcome anything the devil brings to you. Mm, Let's hallelujah. say that he brings fear mm -hmm. to you. How do we overcome fear? Well, we overcome fear. We cast it out. Perfect love. love. So the fruit mm -hmm. casts out fear. Uh, how do we overcome doubt and unbelief? With faith. 
Faith oh, is a fruit. Hallelujah. hallelujah. How do we overcome chaos in our life, overcome anxiety in our life? Peace. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says uh, he will uh, he will keep him in perfect peace, peace. whose His mind is stayed on thee. Hallelujah. So the Lord is going to give you the peace. So as an overview of what I'm talking about tonight, there are nine fruit here in Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23, but that's just the beginning of them. There are other fruit. Mm -hmm. We see righteousness is a fruit. Uh, tr truth. truth is a fruit. Uh, several others. Okay, but we're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on, on basically on these nine. A and whatever the enemy throws at you, whatever problems you face in the year 2023, the way to overcome it is start like this. Father, what part of your nature do you want me to develop in this problem or this situation that I am encountering? So mm -hmm. any problem that comes your way, you ask him, what fruit of the spirit will help me overcome this problem. Hallelujah. Now, this is a way you can improve your relationship with every family member, with the people around you, the people you work with, because there's a fruit. Every problem, there is a fruit that will overcome that problem. Good, good. Every problem. If it's fear, what fruit's going to overcome it? Love. Mm. If it's doubt and unbelief, what fruit's over going to come? Faith. Faith. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, chaos, anxiety, uh, what, what's going to overcome it? Well, it's going to be peace. Mm -hmm. So there is. Oh, what about temptation? Okay. That's where temperance or self-control uh, comes in. Hallelujah. Okay. So there is a fruit that overcomes every problem you will face. Every problem with a relationship, mm -hmm. uh, every problem in 2023 can be overcome by asking the Lord, what fruit of the spirit do I need to develop to overcome this problem? Hallelujah. And see, most people, when they pray, they simply pray this way, God fix my problem. So, but how are we going to overcome our problems in 2023? Ask him, what fruit do we need to produce that will overcome oh, this problem? There is a fruit that will overcome every problem. And you need to take, listen to me, in 2023, turn every situation to your advantage. Oh, that's good. Say it again. In 2023, turn every problem to your advantage. And how do you do it? Jesus said, it's expedient for you that I go, go away. away. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Or it's to your advantage that I go away because I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. Okay, why does the Holy Spirit interact with you mm -hmm. <clears throat> to develop your fruit? Amen. The Holy Spirit will help you develop your fruit. He's not going to uh, hold you down and make you eat fruit. You're mm -hmm. going to have to develop it, and you in you you develop fruit by encountering the Lord. By his spirit. He comes from encountering him. See, um, it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Or I could expand it and I say every fruit comes from hearing the word of God. So every fruit comes from encountering the Lord by encountering his word. Okay, so this is the strategy for the year. Well, mm -hmm. If you're having problems with your spouse 
are problems with your children, are problems with your siblings, are problems with your parents, are problems with your coworkers, are problems with your finances. With your finances, they can all be overcome by the fruit of the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. So that's the reason I'm presenting this message mm -hmm. as the first message of 2023. You can take any problem situation, any problem relationship, and mm -hmm. you can turn it around, turn it to your advantage. Yeah. Because Jesus said, I have an advantage for you. Yeah. I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit. I, I, I'm going to give you the presence of God himself. And when you encounter mm. the Holy Spirit, see, if you have in mind that you need more peace, well, you need to encounter the Holy Spirit in the area of peace. How do you do it? You study the word of God about peace. As I said a while ago, he will keep you in perfect peace, peace whose mind is stayed on him. So this message today is practical. It's a way for you to overcome your problems. It's a way for you to be transformed mm -hmm. into the image of Jesus Christ, working on and developing the fruit of the Spirit and developing in the, the nature, nature of God. That's what it's about. Amen. It's, a, it's a practical message. How to live an overcoming life in the year 2023. And we all need to be more like Christ. Mm -hmm. The way we become more like Christ is encountering God through his spirit Hallelujah. and Hallelujah. partaking of his fruit. Now, if I need, let's say, peace, I need to be looking at the scriptures on peace, searching it out myself, mm -hmm. studying it, listening to tapes about the peace of God, and, and meditating on the peace of God, and meditating on it, and praying about the peace of God, and giving peace to other people. Mm -hmm. See, Hallelujah. if Sherry yes. needs more peace, she needs to give me more peace. She needs to work on peace. Mm -hmm. If I need more joy. I need to be joyful. I need to be rejoicing. I need to be giving my joy to her. And, and so it, it's not about just me sitting under a tree waiting on things to happen, but it's about getting up and moving and doing what the Lord said. He said, seek Amen. first the kingdom, Amen. but the kingdom is fruit. Hallelujah. You already got this is an exciting message. You can overcome every problem yeah, this yeah. year. Every situation. Every situation. Yes, I take every, hold of that. Every problem within relationships, in finances, every problem. In your body. In your body. You can overcome every problem, every circumstance by encountering the, the Lord and developing in that area of fruit. Mm. And it all goes back to the Holy Spirit. It goes back to the word because faith comes by hearing, hearing the word. That's right. We could also say all the fruit comes by hearing the word. It's not just one of them. They all, uh, that's the way they all come. And so if we need more peace this year, we need to be spending time in the scriptures. Yes, ourselves, searching yes. out peace. We can't depend on somebody else giving us scriptures on the verses we need. We need to be looking into them ourselves. That's right. This is my resolution for the year. I want to become more like Christ. I want to develop in the areas of the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. I want to develop in the fruit of the Spirit. But I'm going to be asking him. When I encounter problems, I'm going to be asking, what fruit of the Spirit mm. do you want to give to me to bring forth in my life so that I can overcome oh, this problem? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every problem you face can be turned to your advantage when you seek the Lord, seek first the kingdom, Ooh, seek first the fruit. 
and righteousness is a fruit, mm -hmm. and peace is a fruit, and joy is a fruit, and, and then you'll have everything you need. That, that's God's guarantee. That's Jesus' guarantee. Matthew 6, verse 33, that's Jesus' guarantee. Mm -hmm. If you seek the kingdom fruit first, but the kingdom is fruit. If you seek the fruit mm -hmm. first, you will have whatever you need. Ooh, that's Jesus' guarantee. This is a guarantee. Do you have any guarantees in life? You have this guarantee. If you seek the kingdom, in other words, if you seek the fruit Hello, of the kingdom, kingdom, you will have whatever you need. That's Jesus' yeah, guarantee yeah. for this message, following this message. Amen. This is Amen. his message. Glory to God. He, he was the one that gave it. He gave it to all of us. This is his guarantee. If we seek first the kingdom, which is seeking first the fruit. And so whatever problem we have, we don't just pray that God solve the problem. We ask him, what fruit, fruit. do I need in this situation? Um, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, now the three keys yes. to this message. That's excellent, Freddie. The first key is that the fruit of the Spirit sets you free. Mm, sets you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that exciting? Uh, I want mm -hmm. uh, Sherry to read a couple of verses. One I've already quoted to you, but but I want her to start here um, with these two verses on the first key. Okay. The fruit of the Spirit brings <laughs> you freedom. Second Corinthians 3.17. Now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Okay, liberty. That's freedom. Hallelujah. It comes from the spirit. Now, it doesn't come from the word, from the legalistic word, because it says the legalistic word can kill. Oh, yeah, causes but, death. But the spirit brings life, life. and freedom. Hallelujah. Liberty. Life Hallelujah. and liberty. And he also brings love because he puts he pours whoo glory he pours it in he pours, pours love, love inside into you so that's romans 5 5 and where does that love come from well it's the inspiration and the impartation of the holy spirit and it's the empowerment of the holy spirit so he's going to pour in the fruit it's the holy spirit that pours in the fruit Hallelujah. And what are, what are these? They're, they're the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They're the uh, empowerment of the Holy Spirit in any particular area, mm -hmm. whatever problem comes your way. So first key about the fruit of the Spirit is the fruit of the Spirit brings Great. you liberty. liberty. Now, Sherry's read one verse, and then I had another yeah, verse. John, John 16, 7. But I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I am leaving. For if I do not leave, the, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. See. And the helper is the Holy Spirit. Okay. So the Holy Spirit is your advantage. But what does the Holy Spirit do? He pours in the fruit. So it's the fruit. You With the fruit, you can turn any problem uh -huh. situation to, to your, your advantage. advantage. That's good. That's Hallelujah. Good. Very good. Hallelujah. Now, Praise that's that's key number one. Freedom. Fruit of the Spirit brings freedom. Key number three. No, is it number two? I'm sorry. Key number two is it builds your confidence in your relationship with the Lord. Now, let's, let's listen to this verse. Uh, Galatians 6, 8. For the one who sows to his own flesh will reap destruction from the flesh. But the one who sows to the Spirit will reap eternal life from the Spirit. Okay. Mm, so, yeah. so it's about yeah. reaping something here. So if you are a spiritual person, you're going to be sowing. Sowing requires effort. Oh, it, hallelujah. It, it requires hallelujah. some effort on you, and then you're going to reap a fruit. Mm. Oh, glory to God. And you're going to reap the fruit of a spiritual life. 
because it's the Holy Spirit that pours in life into you. He pours love into you. He pours the fruit into you. But but you can't just sit under a tree and think all of this is going to happen no. because you have responsibilities. And your responsibility is to seek the fruit. Seek it. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The hallelujah. fruit is not going to seek you. Mm, mm, that's good. That's really the, good. The fruit will not seek you. You mm, seek, seek the, the fruit. fruit. And with the fruit, you can turn any problem situation into your advantage. I, uh, hope. I have an example okay. of that. Okay. Uh, we had a, a pastor from Mexico that was on the international uh, prophetic conference on Sunday afternoon. And I got a text message from him or a Facebook message from him yesterday saying that his church was in financial uh, difficulties and he wanted me to, to pray for him and for, for his church. And what the Lord spoke to me was that he was, I did tell him that I would pray and I certainly have been praying, but what the Lord said to him was to sow, was to sow into someone else's ministry, to sow into another pastor's church, uh, to help with, with their congregation. And that as he as he sowed the seed, then he would, the, the Lord would multiply it back to him and that he would have what he needed in his church. And he wrote back and he said, that he was so excited about this and that he was going to do it. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. See, we're talking about sowing and reaping. Yes. And thank what, you. Is, what do you reap? You reap fruit. And the fruit uh, hallelujah. gives you an advantage, turns every problem situation to your advantage. Praise the name no of Jesus. No matter how difficult it is, do you think the nature of God will fail no no the nature of god never fails hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so you Thank can have you, jesus confidence. And, and there's a there's a phrase in uh let's go back uh, to the first uh verse uh, galatians 5 23 mm -hmm. verse 5 23 the very end of it because i studied this out today okay okay it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Okay, I looked up that last phrase. I mean, there's no law. Now, that didn't say God's law. No, that said no law. Or, I, But it's, it's anything that has been established, any rule. Mm -hmm. And so if the enemy comes mm -hmm. against you in any form, Oh, hallelujah. It cannot overcome the fruit of the Spirit. Woo, praise the Lord. Oh, look at the okay. fruit. Let's look at it again. Because this is really an important concept here. Well, and it's in uh, both the King James and the New American Standard. Okay. This is, the last part is meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Okay, so you can have as much of these fruit as you want. And no law can overcome the fruit. Mm, and, and what that says is the fruit overcomes any rule of the enemy. Oh, Anything the yeah. enemy wants to come against you cannot rule over the fruit. Oh, hallelujah. Does that get you excited? It gets me excited. Nothing the enemy can do can rule over the fruit. And so what that says, we need to be developing the fruit. And the Holy Spirit will give us the strategy, what fruit do I need? Well, if you have, let's say you have anxiety. Mm, mm. Okay, so let's go to the Holy Spirit. What fruit do you want me to develop in my life to overcome anxiety? Well, he may say peace. And so you can go look for the scriptures on peace. You can go on YouTube and uh, ask um peace and and ask uh, uh look for or search out uh different anointed ministers that's right that will teach you about peace and, and find the verses meditate on the verses give other people it. 
Give mm -hmm. other people peace. Uh, give your spouse peace. Give your children peace. peace. Amen. Your, Amen. Uh, okay. Be a peacemaker. Woo! Be a I'm peace a speaker. And so whatever fruit you need to overcome a situation, then it's your responsibility to begin to meditate on those words because all of the fruit comes from the word of God by the spirit of God. It's the spirit of God that pours it into your life as you're meditating on the word of God. Okay, I've covered two. Oh, Jerry, do you have something? Yes, I have just a, a scripture that says uh, in John, I believe it's in John <clears throat> Uh, 15 or 14 or 15 it says that we are to uh, abide in him and he's going to abide in us but it says that we are ordained to bring forth much fruit Ooh, Hallelujah! now that's spiritually that's not you know a piece of paper that says that you're a licensed minister no this is spiritual this is what the what the God is looking for is someone who's bringing forth fruit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay, now there's a third key. So let me review the first two. First key is the fruit of the Spirit gives you freedom. Mm -hmm. Second key is it gives you confidence that you're sowing into the nature of God and God is going to show you favor. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. first key is it gives you freedom. Second, mm -hmm. it gives you confidence to know that God is working in your life because you're sowing into his nature for yourself mm -hmm. and for others. And then you pour it out to other people and God will be pleased with you and give you favor. Hallelujah. 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 Wouldn't it be good to have favor in Thank your workplace? You, Wouldn't it be Jesus. good to have favor in your family? Yes. Wouldn't it be good to have a, fa a favor in your extended family wouldn't it be good to yeah. go down to the bank and, and have favor when you need money or or, or go to yeah. to a car, yeah. car dealership you're looking you're looking to buy a new car and wouldn't it be good to have god's favor and man's favor see if you have god's favor Hallelujah. you'll have man's, man's favor. favor as well uh, uh, wouldn't that be good maybe you could sell your car at a higher price and buy a car at a lower price. If you had God's favor, then you'd get a better interest rate to buy it and, uh, to buy the car. I'm just wanting you to imagine, imagine mm -hmm. if you're sowing into the spirit, uh, if you're sowing into his nature and, and developing your fruit of the spirit, that he's going to show favor upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let me say one more thing, and that is, uh, not only does the fruit help you to be more like Christ and, and have the nature of God and be transformed uh, into the image of Jesus Christ, but it also uh, helps you to operate in the gifts of the Spirit, in the gift of prophecy, in the gift of wisdom, in the gift of a discerning of spirits, in the gifts of miracles and healings, because they all all of those gifts operate through the fruit. Ah, hallelujah. That's good. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? That's good. All right. Hallelujah. Well, we're excited. <laughs> okay. Well, are, are you ready for the third key? Here's the third key. The fruit of the spirit causes you to overcome all negativity. Oh, hallelujah. All negativity. And, and there's this, uh, this verse that uh, Paul wrote. And he said, I'm not in distress. Mm -hmm. I'm not in despair. I'm, in. I'm not forsaken. And I'm not, I'm not destroyed. And I'm not destroyed. And these four things, look at it. I'm not in distress. I'm not in despair. I'm not forsaken. And I'm not destroyed. But he had a lot of problems on the other end. Mm -hmm. But when he faced these problems, he turned them all to his advantage by the Holy Spirit showing him the uh, fruit to develop. And then he could say, I'm not in distress. That's I'm right. not in despair. I'm not forsaken. I'm not and I'm persecuted. Distraught. No, that doesn't oh, say that. Yeah. Let me see it. That's how, no, okay. Say that. okay. I'm not in distress. I'm not in despair. I'm not forsaken. And I'm not destroyed. Even though I've got all these problems mm -hmm. over here. Ooh, do you see it? I've turned them all to my advantage. Turned them all to my advantage. Not in distress. 
not in despair, not forsaken, and I'm not destroyed. Now I'm going to ask Sherry to read this, these verses. Okay. We are troubled on every side. Trouble. When you face trouble, mm -hmm. can you say, I'm not in distress, I'm not in despair, I'm not forsaken, and I'm not destroyed. Okay, go ahead and read. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. We are cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. So where does the life come from? It comes from the spirit. The spirit. See, the spirit gives you life, liberty, and love. Mm. And all the fruit of the spirit. And all the gifts, like Sherry pointed out, all the gifts work through the spirit. So Paul had all of these problems. He had trouble, uh, perplexity. Mm. He had the persecution. He had all of these big troubles. Big troubles mm -hmm. coming at him, mm -hmm. but he could say, I'm not in distress, I'm not in despair, I'm not forsaken, and I'm not destroyed. Why? Is because he in turned to the Lord, he sought first the kingdom of God, and he sought first the fruit. Hallelujah. If you, there is a fruit that will overcome every, every situation, every problem situation. And it's not going to fall on you like a cherry off of a tree. We are told to seek mm. the fruit mm. first. So when a problem comes, what do you do? First, seek the fruit. What fruit? You have to ask the Holy Spirit. What fruit? Mm. And how do I develop it? And begin to study the Word of God. Meditate on the Word of God. Think about the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Speak out the Word of God. And if you want peace, give peace to somebody else. Mm -hmm. If you want joy, give joy. Be joyful. Yeah. When you walk into a room, you change the atmosphere. You bring joy. You bring peace. Whatever is needed in that situation, mm -hmm. you be the one that's supplying it. That's what Ephesians 4 talks about. We supply. Each one is supplying what, what they have and what other people need. See, you're, you're supplying what other people need. And so when you go into a room and there it, uh, there's people who are fearful and anxious there, you, you give them love. You give them peace. You, you, be, you be the one who carries the fruit to the people. Let become a channel of the fruit. Oh, this is an important good. message for yeah. 2023. 20, to overcome every problem in 2023, seek the fruit. Woo oh, that's good. First, good. Good. whatever problem comes your way, mm. first, seek the fruit. Hallelujah. But that's seek the kingdom, and the kingdom is fruit. Glory oh, to God. Praise the Lord I hope Jesus. Uh, you've enjoyed this message yeah. today. I hope it has encouraged you as it has encouraged me. So I'm going to turn it over to Sherry now. Yeah, this is a message that we might want to listen to again and again and just uh reap and, and glean uh from the from the from the scriptures and, and what the Lord is saying to each one of us. And I and I do believe that what was spoken tonight uh was the truth and it was very powerful. Um uh, and I, I thank Brother Fred for for this message. Uh, you know, we all want to be more like Jesus, and and I believe that it is by the fruit that we are transformed uh, into his into his image. You know, when we started the mission uh, downtown Athens that we had for eight years, uh, where we uh, ministered to the homeless and to the prostitutes and the pimps and the drug addicts and the gang members and um we thought, Brother Fred and I thought that we we had the love of God in us. And of course, we we were both ministers and, and we loved the Lord and we loved the his people. But it was a it was a love that, you know, if you acted like us and, and looked like us and smelled like us and did uh what we did. Um, then 
then we would pour out our love, you know, to you. Uh, but when you have people that are, you know, they're, they, they're not clean, they, they have rotten teeth, uh, they smell bad, uh, they have bad habits, uh, they walk everywhere they go, uh, they, some of them had bicycles, uh, but most of them walked everywhere they went, and at that point, we realized, Brother Fred and I realized that we needed, we needed God's love, to minister to these people and to bring them out of out of the gutter to bring them out of darkness to bring them out of what all the evil activities that they were involved in and and the lord supernaturally poured in that fruit of love into us and we were able to bring uh, you know many of them to to the lord uh, we we were able to uh, find jobs for many of them, and they accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and were baptized in the Holy Spirit and, and healed and, and healed and delivered and 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 began to walk in righteousness. And 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 this was this was something that the Lord did. And and so if you have a desire, uh, you know, for more of the fruit. All you have to do is ask the Lord for it uh, because he wants you to produce that fruit. And if you want to minister to your family, uh, you know, that's that's where it all comes from. It comes from the love of God, uh, you know, that he's going to pour into you. And uh, and I know that that, you know, many of you have situations in your life. And I loved what Brother Fred said, that every situation that the enemy is trying to bring to you there is a fruit of the spirit that will overcome it and and I love that and I'm going to remember that I'm going to take that with me uh, from this message